Yosemite National Park at the edge of the Lyle Glacier, or what is left of the Lyle Glacier. Not technically a glacier anymore because it's not in motion, but the remnants of a glacier, a glacier body or a glacier corpse, if you will. The Lyle Glacier is a little ice age glacier from the past six or 700 years. Uh, it has grown from snowflakes accumulating over the centuries and it had uh, built up to quite a bulk and it flowed past the point where we're standing now, well down below us at its maximum, uh, and has since in the past 150 years or so melted back up to what we see now to the point where it is stagnated. It is not flowing ice anymore and it's going to just rot away in place. to tell us this glacier is a fraction of what it was. So were these areas up here? I mean, point to me where you, when 30 years ago, where did you see glacier? <clears throat> so 30 years ago, uh, the glacier was where we're standing. It would have been ice well over my head, uh, was part of the glacier. And all this basin that's now bare rock, that was uh, deep in ice. Uh, the walls here, not up to the top, but uh, at least 100 feet further up these walls than what we see now. The glacier has lost that bulk uh, in just that short time. We think of this as something geological, but to see it in a human lifespan tells you uh, this is a, a change happening quite quickly. That we are losing our glaciers in the high part of the Sierra Nevada. Uh, and that really goes back to the time of John Muir in 1872 when he was up here to prove that these were in fact glaciers, that they had motion uh, and they've been shrinking uh, very obviously, very clearly since then. Explain to us the difference between a, a living glacier and a dead glacier. By, by definition, a glacier is ice that moves. So when the snow accumulates enough to form ice at the bottom, the snowflakes are all compressed into this ice. When the ice has built up enough from the decades and centuries of accumulation, eventually it starts to flow, slowly flowing downhill. Then you have a glacier. And the glaciers during the ice age in the past two million years, we know fill this river canyon, went down from here about 30 miles or so to where they were low elevation and the, the melting overcame the advance. Right. Uh, the glacier just the other side of this mountain flowed down the Merced River and all the way through Yosemite Valley, the glacier at its maximum almost was to the top of Half Dome for reference sake. And Yosemite Valley where we walk around today would have been 3,000 feet underneath a slow moving river of solid ice. Right. So those are the big old granddaddy glaciers of the main ice age. This is one of our 